Hello everyone, Chris and Jeremiah DeGrief here for Poker Study Plus. You want to say what's up, man? Hey, it's Dantes here. And we are bringing you the next installment of our Dunkman training series, where Jeremiah is taking me, a inexperienced tournament player, and teaching me the tournament ropes. In the first four episodes, we looked at a live play review where I played several tournaments and Dante kind of coached me, walked me through some of the situations that a inexperienced tournament player would be less familiar with. But what we decided to do for this video was to switch it up and actually do a hand history review of Jer's deep run in the Sunday Million on Poker Stars and kind of let him take the lead in terms of walking through his tournament strategy. And I'm going to chime in with questions, comments, you know, things that I think that you, the viewers, might have questions about just in terms of, you know, what he's doing in different spots, what his ranges are, and the like. So hopefully give you kind of a dual perspective on, uh, you know, just a, a hand history review. Before we do get started with that, though, I do have a hand history that I played this Sunday in the Sunday Mulligan that I want to have Dante's comments on because I think it's pretty interesting and um, should make for some interesting commentary. So we're going to jump right into that right now. Uh, he right, hasn't let's seen this, do this. Yeah, he hasn't seen this hand, by the way. So um, he'll be going into it blind, just as you guys are. So, a little backstory. Uh, this was played this last Sunday in the Sunday Mulligan, which is a $200 buy in tournament on full tilt, for those of you that are not familiar. Uh, we are about, there's about 200 players left in the tournament, and the top 135 get paid. So, we're pretty deep into it, kind of approaching the bubble. Um, about five hands before, I doubled up with Jack 9 against the player Shiva74, who's under the gun plus one in this hand. I, uh, who seems to be like a bad Italian player, who's, you know, potting, sea betting a lot, li open limping, playing somewhat over aggressively. I had Jack 9, I check called the flop on Jack 9 3, and then I check raised a 6 turn, and we got it in against Jack 10, with it, which had top pair and a flush draw. So that's kind of the, uh, the read I have on Shiva going into this hand. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the hand started. So uh, right off the bat, um, let's see, okay. So under the gun with a stack size of, looks like 12,000 to start the hand, so about 24 big blinds. A um, little more than that. Races to 1250. Uh, Shiva flats, folds around to the button, who flats, and the action is on me in the big blind. Now, uh, I don't have any reads on the button. The player in the, under the gun, I have a strong nine, is a thinking winning player at 510, a cash game player, so I know he's definitely a solid player and Shiva74 is a bad Italian. So this is actually, I posted this hand on 2 plus 2, and I got a lot of flack for preflop. So, Dante, so I want to ask you about this preflop situation, whether you think calling, raising, or folding is best, and why. Well, I'll, I'll tell you right now that they're going to just say fold preflop, right? Is that what they said on, right. on 2 plus 2? Okay. Yeah, um, pretty much. 